A crowd in the DRC capital erupts in jubilation. These supporters of President Joseph Kabila came to welcome him deliver the State of the Nation address in Parliament. Opposition members also showed up, but there was a heavy security presence to keep them at bay. The President spoke at length about the economic achievements made during his 17-year tenure, but he said very little about his political future as the country's leader. We will ensure that we conduct the elections without any financial assistance from foreigners who want to undermine our sovereignty. Opposition members who have been calling for reforms ahead of the elections had no kind words about his address. We think that uh, uh, Mr. Kabila has done nothing. And uh, unfortunately, people uh, uh, were waiting for Mr. Kabila to say that, okay, I will not, uh, 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 sorry, agree that we have a voter register with a fake name. I will not accept that uh, we go to election without any credibility. And Mr. Kabila didn't say that. But other politicians were full of praise for the president's speech. The president delivered a classic address. He put everything in perspective and said he would respect the constitution. A group of youthful members of the ruling party, PPRD, want the president to run again in the upcoming elections. We members of the party youth wing want President Kabila to stand for a third term in order to complete his vision. The president's constitutional mandate expired in 2016, but he delayed to organize elections citing financial problems and the violence in the Kasai region. The international community has been asking him to step down. President Kabila's address comes one week ahead of the registration of presidential candidates. Many Congolese people were expecting him to clearly state whether he'll run again, but he didn't. The other contenders for the presidency are Jean-Pierre Bemba, Felix Shisekedi, and Moise Katumbi, who's currently in exile. Chris Ochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.